halina tayong mag-aral kasama ang inyong Engineer Beno. And tuturuan ko kayo ngayon ng bagong topic sa Differential Calculus. This time, ang ituturo ko ay Maxima and Minima. Okay? Most of the students, kapag narinig na yung Maxima and Minima, umaayaw na sila. Kasi hindi nila magets kung ano ba yung essence ng maximization, maximization at minimization. Ang idea kasi ng maxima and minima, for example, binigyan kita ng 500 pesos. Sabi ko sa'yo, oh, ito yung pera. Bilhin mo yung damit na kaya mong mabili pero pinakamadaming klase ng damit dapat. So, syempre, pag nagpunta ka sa boutique, mahal dun yung damit, hindi mo mamamaximize yung 500 pesos mo. Pero, kapag pumunta ka sa upay, mamamaximize mo yung 500 mo kasi madami kang damit na mabibili. So, yun yung idea about maxima and minima. Another thing, for example, meron akong binigay sa inyong wire, gantong kahaba. Sabi ko sa inyo, i-form nyo ito na pinakamalaki yung ma enclosed na area. So, pwede nating i-form ng rectangle, square, or circle kung saan makukuha natin yung pinakamalaking posibleng area. So, that is the idea with regards to maxima and minima. And how to solve problems in maxima and minima. First, set up an equation. Second, express it into one variable. Third, you differentiate it and you equate it to zero. Another steps will tell you to draw the diagram as much as possible kung kinakailangan. Pero kung madali mo namang ma-figure out kahit hindi mo na i-drawing, pero still, sa mga problems na nag involve ng shapes, dimensions, it is the best thing to do na magkaroon ka ng mga figure or diagram para mas madali mong ma-realize. Okay? So, let us start solving different problems. So, let me flash the first problem. What number exits its square by the maximum amount? What number exceeds its square by the maximum amount? Okay? So, the problem may seem to be complicated to solve gawa ng word na exceeds. Okay? In worded problems, exit is actually, or it actually implies difference. Bakit po? Let's take an example. For example, I have 5 and I have 8. Okay? So, gaano kalaki yung lamang nung number na 8 sa number na 5? Di po ba ay 3? So, we can say that 8 exceeds 5 by 3. Okay? 8 exceeds 5 by 3. Ang 8 ay nakakalamang ng tatlo sa 5. Okay? That's why exit in worded problem implies difference. So, sabi dun sa problem natin, ano daw yung number na nakaka-exit sa square niya? Okay? A number exceeds its square by the maximum. So, this is already our working equation. Okay? So, i-differentiate natin siya. dy dx is equal to 1 minus 2x. And then, second step in, the, in uh, solving maxima and minima, you set dy dx to 0. So, this is 0 equals 1 minus 2x. Transpose ko to other side to 2x. I have 2x equal to 1. And solving for the value of x, I have here 1 half. So, the number that exits itself by, uh, the number that exceeds its square by maximum is 1 half. Itry natin ngayon, guys. 1 half minus 1 half squared. Diba ito ay 1 half minus 1 fourth? 
and that is equal to 1 fourth. Okay? So, na-exceed ng 1 half yung square niya ng 1 fourth. And malinaw na malinaw na lamang na lamang talaga yung number itself kaysa sa square niya. Kasi kung itatry mo to sa whole numbers, let's say 2. 2 minus 2 squared. This is equal to 2 minus 4. That is negative 2. Eh, di ba deficit pa tayo? Hindi pa tayo nakalamang. Okay? So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng problem na to. Okay? So, next question. What positive number added to its reciprocal gives the minimum sum? What positive number added to its reciprocal gives the minimum sum? So, kung kanina maximum, ngayon minimum. So, ini-minimize naman natin. Meron daw tayong number na kapag in daw natin yung kanyang reciprocal, ang makukuha daw natin ay minimum na sum. So, take for an example, I have 3 plus 1 third. Diba? This is equal to 3.33. So, in this case na nag-randomize lang tayo ng number, hindi natin alam kung minimum na ba yung number na 3. So, in order to know that, let us use this equation. Let's differentiate this with respect to x. I have 1 minus 1 over x squared. Okay? It happens so po kasi na ang derivative ng 1 over x ay equal sa negative 1 over x squared. Okay? Then, the third step is to set dy dx to 0. So, 0 is equal to 1 minus x squared. Sorry, 1 minus x squared. And then, transpose ko dun si 1. I have negative 1 equals negative 1 over x squared. And then, multiply ko dun si x squared. I have x squared equals 1. Dinivide ko na din yung both negative signs. Okay? And then, extract ko yung root. I have x equals plus minus 1. We have two possible answers. Positive 1 and negative 1. Pero sabi sa problem, positive po yung pinapahanap sa atin. So, our x is equal to positive 1. Okay? Pag nasolve mo, itry natin ngayon. Diba? x plus 1 over x. So, for 1, 1 plus 1 over 1. This is 1 plus 1. This is equal to 2. Next, try natin 2. So, 2 plus 1 over 2. This is equal to 2.5. And kapag 3, 3.33. Eh, sir, paano kapag fraction? Eh, di try natin. 1 half plus 1 over 1 half. This is equal to 2 plus 0.5. This is also equal to 2.5. So, as you can see, kapag ang ginamit natin na number ay 1, positive 1, ang nakukuha natin ay minimum na sum. Minimum na sum, ibig sabihin, pinakamababang posible na sum ng number na yun, tsaka ng reciprocal niya. So, yun lang po yung ini-intend ng problem na yun. So, please copy. Okay guys, moving on to the third problem. The sum of the two positive number is 50. What are the numbers if their product is to be the largest possible? The sum of the two positive numbers is 50. What are the numbers if their product is to be the largest possible? So, sabi, binigyan tayo ng dalawang numero, x and y, at ang sum daw nila ay 50. Ano daw tong dalawang numero na to? Such that yung product nila ay maximum. Okay, so I have here my working equations. So step 2 is to express this equation into one variable. So mula dito, makikita ko na ang y is just 50 minus x. Okay, so this is x times 50 minus x. This is equal to 50x minus x squared. And then, differentiate ko. P prime is equal to 50 minus 2x. Okay? Transpose ko. 
2x is equals to 50. Bakit po nagkaganyan? Huwag kalimutan yung third step kung saan yung p' prime natin ay sineset natin into 0. So, kung ito ay mag-0 na, di ba, pwede kong i-transpose na lang po doon. Okay? And then, x is equal to 25. And obviously, y is equal to 50 minus 25. Also, y is equal to 25. I-check natin kung ang makukuha nating product ng x and y ay maximum. So, p is equal to 25 times 25. This is equal to 625. Okay? Ano pa ba yung mga possible combinations na ang sum ay 50? So, sip tayo random. 23 and 27. Isa pa ay 40, 10, saka 30 and 20. So, tingnan natin. 23 times 27. Tapos, 40 saka 10 times 10. And 30 times... 20. So, mahina talaga ako mag-mental guys. This is equals to 400. This is equal to 600. This is equal to 621. So, kung nakikita nyo, lahat sila ay mas mababa sa 625. So, tama talaga na yung dalawang numero na pag pinag-multiply natin ay 25 and 25. So, ang sagot po is x is 25 and y is 25. Okay, yun lang po. Gusto nyo ba ng shortcut? Siyempre, gusto nyo yun. Okay, ano exponent ng x? 1. Ano exponent ng y? 1 din. 1 plus 1? 2. Ano yung sum? 50. 50 divided by 2, this is equal to 25. So, this is applicable sa sunod na makakamit kayo ng ganyang problem. So, madali lang naman, pero syempre, doon tayo sa shortcut. Iusin natin, decision natin sa buhay. Okay? So, please copy.